Hello everybody, hope you are doing well. And as you know, or maybe don't know, we have done a version of this already with players. So we've taken the biggest possible player and the smallest possible player simulated. I think that one might have been the 15 years, maybe it was the 10 though. Um, the very first year to eliminate randomness, turned off CPU trades, all of that stuff, etc. And yeah, just compared the two and how they simulate against each other. So today, we're going to be trying that with goaltenders, which... I mean, realistically, it should have a difference, in my opinion, but let's find out whether or not it does. And also, one of the comments mentioned that to eliminate randomness, what I can do is create both of the players, put them on the same team, and just simply scratch one for the first 10 years of simulation, or I guess the first <laughs> 10 first years of simulation. I don't even know if that makes sense, but uh, I believe, yeah, we start with the... Big goaltender, and I have the small goaltender scratched. So uh, I also made it so they play the full 82 games, as you can see here. Picks up 44 wins in year number one. Six playoff games with a record of 2-3-1 and one, and a 9-0-1 save percentage. 328 GAA. And the Tampa Bay Lightning are going to win the Stanley Cup for year number one. The Calder would go to Trevor Zegras. And the Pittsburgh Penguins would be deleted by the Washington Capitals in round one taking six games. So kicking off year number two here, the Pity Pens finished seventh in the league with 102 points. We got 47 wins out of our goaltender at 918 and 246 respectively. 13 playoff games with seven wins, a 906 and 274. The Stanley Cup is headed to Edmonton for the second year of simulation here. And the Pity Pens were eliminated by the Bruins who made it all the way to the Stanley Cup finals there, but they lost in round number two. They finished third this year with 114 points, 54 wins for Mr. In Charge, and a 922 save percentage. Did very well this year. He had five games played in the playoffs, so they got first rounded again, unfortunately. The Golden Knights do win the Stanley Cup, and as you saw there, a Calder Trophy for Large and In Charge. It only took five games for the Montreal Canadiens to put the Penguins out in round one, and we have a ninth place finish here. For, I don't what year are we in? Four. We're already in four? Wow, that went kind of quick. 47 wins this year. 32 losses, a 9-12 save percentage. Not a hot playoff performance, though. 8-84, 338, and another first-round exit. The Carolina Hurricanes are Stanley Cup champions for year number four. And as I mentioned, a first-round exit came at the hands of the New Jersey Devils, taking only five games. The Pity Pens will finish 5th this year with 104 points and 51 Ws. Large and in charge. I don't really know how this happens. Puts up 50 Ws. Like, did he get pulled or something? And then the other goalie did amazing and he came back and managed to win the game. I'm not really sure how that works. But regardless, it happened. So, yeah, that's a thing. But anyways, here we go. The Pittsburgh Penguins made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals where they would lose in 6 games to the Colorado Avalanche. This year, they put up 96 points, which is good enough for 10th in the league. 45 wins from the goaltender, a 917, 257. And for playoffs, six games, so they got first rounded again, 897. I guess I shouldn't say again, considering in the year just prior to this, they did make it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. So, but as a whole, you know what I'm saying. They haven't been making it far consistently. That was just a one off there. They're more likely to be eliminated earlier, statistically, here. This time they finished third in the league. We get 49 wins for the goaltender at 918 and 250. For the playoffs, 16 games were played, 9-6 and 1 record with one shutout, 926 save percentage. Tampa Bay Lightning gonna take home a Stanley Cup again and a Calder trophy for the goaltender. They made it all the way to the conference finals where they lost to the Stanley Cup winning Bolts in five games. This year they finished 11th in the league. 46 wins for the goaltender, 918 and 252. 11 playoff games, a 913 save percentage with a 267 goals against average, and another Stanley Cup for the Tampa Bay Lightning. They seem to win it quite a bit. And this is actually kind of giving me another video idea that I want to do. But yeah, that's uh, for another time. They lose to the Jerks in round number two, taking five games. I don't know what happened this year, but they finished 21st in the league. And it was not a great season, but goalie still had an alright record, I suppose. 43 wins, which is pretty solid. The Jets are the Stanley Cup champions for year number 9. I believe that's the first time we've seen them win it in this simulation here. And yeah, this is the pity penless playoffs. But then, the very next season, 
They go on to win the President's Trophy. 60 wins from the goaltender, 9-28-2-14, and only six playoff games. After winning the President's Trophy, they get destroyed in round number one. And the Montreal Canadiens would go on to win themselves a Stanley Cup. Vesna, Jennings, and Calder, as you saw there. And yeah, they lost to the Toronto Maple Leafs six games. Rough go for sure. So all in all, it was pretty successful for the big goaltender. But now we are headed to start simulating the smaller goaltender here. 5'7", 129. Those are the two lowest. And I'm just kind of going through here to show you that still listed as high franchise potential with 99 in every stat. And on top of that, I also show you that all of the abilities are the same as well, just so you guys are ensured that everything here is the same. The only difference is going to be the size of the player. Let's go ahead and start here. I'm showing once again that the chemistry and all the lines are the same because all I did was swap out the goaltender here. So yeah, it is time. They finished 10th for year number one, just shy of 100 points there. 44 wins from the goaltender, 907 and 288. So already it's seeming, you know, pretty solid. 14 games played in the playoffs. And the Stanley Cup goes to Anaheim. That's a interesting one. You don't see that too often. So good for them. The Pittsburgh Penguins lose to the Leafs in round two, taking seven games. The next year, they just top 100 points. And they finish sixth in the league. 47 wins from the goaltender, a 918 and 249 with eight shutouts on the season. 10 playoff games. So once again, they made it to round number two. And a 925 which is really solid. The Avs are going to win a Stanley Cup this year. You also saw a trophy there for the goaltender, but yeah, they got swept in round number two by New Jersey. That's a rough go. This year they finished sixth with 106 points and 49 wins on the year. The goaltender had 48 wins. I am not sure how this works. Someone explain it to me, please. A 9-12 save percentage, a 9-25 in the playoffs with 26 games played. Yeah. So that's a thing. The Seattle Kraken won the Stanley Cup, though. So I think we all know how this one turns out. We know how this fairy tale ends. Yeah, they lost. Took seven games, and they lost in the finals. That is very rough. They were right there, just couldn't get it done. They finished second this year with 51 wins and a 924 save percentage with nine shutouts on the season. 18 playoff games, so they seem to be making some decent runs here. Tampa Bay Lightning are going to go ahead and win themselves a Stanley Cup, as they do ever so often. The Pittsburgh Penguins make it to the conference finals against the Bolts, but they lost in seven there again. This time they finished fourth in the league with 107, 51 wins, and a 926. Nine shutouts again as well, and 21 playoff games. They are consistently making some deep playoff runs here, and as you see, the Pittsburgh Penguins do... Go on to win a Stanley Cup. Vesna, Jennings, and Calder all going to small still wall, and they beat the Oilers in the finals there seven games. So they finally won in a seventh game, which is good for them. The next year, they finished seventh, under 100 points again. 46 wins, and I shouldn't say again. I should say back to under 100 points because they were doing really well for a minute there, but they sort of had a slip up here, but that's okay. They still made the playoffs. Tampa Bay Goes on to win another Stanley Cup, as they do. Calder and Vesna and the Jennings all going to the goalie again. They lost to the Jerks in round number two. Seven games would do it. Now, they finish fourth in the league with 106 points and 50 wins from the goaltender. Six shutouts on the season. They only played five playoff games and an absolutely horrendous save percentage there from the goaltender. I mean, I guess that's like I'm insulting myself and be a pro there. But, you know, it is what it is. Golden Knights win the Stanley Cup. They beat the Bruins in seven in the finals. Pity Pens did not have a deep run. They do go on to win the President's Trophy the next year, though. 50 wins with a 927, 215, and 14 shutouts. And a sub-900 save percentage in the playoffs, which is pretty shocking. But there was still 17 games played. But uh, another set of trophies won there for sure. And in six games, the Montreal Canadiens beat the Pity Pens in the conference finals. They go on to win another President's Trophy. 56 wins from the goaltender this year. Only five shutouts, which is kind of weird, but it is what it is. Another playoff sub-900 save percentage. Colorado wins themselves the Stanley Cup this time around. Another few trophies for the goalie there again. And the Jerks beat them round number one, five games. 
This year they finished 11th in the league, 96 points, 46 wins, and a 9-13-269 with four shutouts on the season. 11 playoff games and finally showed up in the playoffs here after a little hiatus. But the performance was only good enough to get them to round number two where they would be deleted by the Islanders in seven games. All right, so let's look at some of the stats now. And as you can see here, there really isn't a major difference. Wins is pretty similar, loss is pretty similar, and the only thing that sort of really jumps out as a big difference is the playoff stats, and they're not really different in terms of how they performed. More so, they just won a lot more games. So that could have just been the simulation, you know, maybe just luck, um, or I don't know, <laughs> maybe for some reason, if you're smaller, you just do better in the playoffs. I can't tell you exactly what happens there but yeah overall the averages are very very similar but there was a lot more playoff games for the smaller goaltender anyways guys i hope you enjoyed if you have other ideas for videos like this you want me to do go ahead and let me know i do want to do one where i simulate 25 times and basically just see what the results are i want to see how many times each team wins a stanley cup how many times each player wins whatever trophy stuff like that but uh, we could possibly save that one for a later date if we want to test some more attributes and whatnot first. Just throwing that idea out there. But again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon.